वेलकम टू एक्सॉटिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन एंड विश यू अ वेरी 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 हैप्पी बिहू मकर संक्रांति एंड सो मेनी अदर फेस्टिवल्स आई एम जस्ट चेकिंग दिस वेबसाइट टू सी वॉट आर द डिफरेंट नेम्स ऑफ द सेम फेस्टिवल एज यू सी इन हरियाणा एंड पंजाब इट्स नोन एज लोरी देन ऑफकोर्स uh in bihar it's this website says it's known as kichdi is it <laughs> all right in maharashtra they say all married women donate cotton oil and salt in bengal there is a tradition of donating til after taking bath uh and in south india it's also known as pongal of course in tamil nadu especially a uh, pongal it says it celeb- it celebrated for four days and then kite festival in gujarat of course right so this is a very special uh, day because today the movement of the sun uh, towards the northern hemisphere begins right now uh, it is like the universe is waking up right and uh, this is also a very special time because this is the period when uh surya is actually transiting the abhijit nakshatra right which is uh, <clears throat> a very important nakshatra which as per the epics is in the peacock of lord shri krishna uh, in the peacock feather which is in lord krishna's head right you see krishna always has a peacock feather so it's it's said that he has hidden this nakshatra in his peacock feather but nonetheless um sun is transiting in this nakshatra during this time and therefore this time becomes very important because this is a time when any auspicious activity that we do uh can re- it can reward us unlimitedly right of course uh, it depends on our consciousness our standards that we follow it depends on so many other things like uh, our purity you know our intent and our consciousness as i said at the end of the day the most important uh, aspect uh, to the degree we are elevated spiritually to that degree we will be benefited by our spiritual practices and even our pious act- deeds during this day so sun has now is now hopefully going to enter a uh, capricorn and sankranti happens every month but this time because um, sun is entering makar rashi during this time around 14 15 january of every year therefore this is known as makar sankranti okay but in general whenever people hear about sankranti they think oh it's the one around 15 january no actually not sankranti is there mid of every month when sun changes the sign uh, but this sankranti is very special because uttarayan begins from this which as i said is the movement of sun in the northern hemisphere now <clears throat> the days get longer and the uh, nights get shorter now what does this mean uh, it sounds to be like a very typical or generic or uninteresting um hemispherical knowledge right okay days are getting longer mm mm-hmm. i understand nights are getting shorter all right great <laughs> but what do i do with this what does it have to do with me right what's in it for me <laughs> that's the question well you have to understand what does it mean when when we say something is day or something is night it just doesn't represent hemispherically or from a perspective of you know day and night the day refers to the time when the sun is in the sky right so when the days are getting longer it means we are experiencing the power of the sun more and the sun is the significator of all auspiciousness right therefore when makar sankranti starts or makar sankranti comes then it means that gradually the 
influence of the sun god is increasing on us day by day, right? We start seeing the sun more and more. <clears throat> and most likely, if you see in the night, not in general, not for everything or for everybody, but most of the tamasic activities, the activities which are in the mode of ignorance, they take place in the night. Very, very, if you see the probability, the percentage of crimes that happen in the day and in the night, you will see there's a vast difference. There's a huge difference, right? Of course, I mean, we know it's the day and it's, as they say, like uh, broad daylight. <laughs> they say, right, oh, this uh, murder happened in broad daylight. What does it mean? It means... <clears throat> Uh, Surya is one of the 12 Sakshis, right? Witnesses. Surya is the sun. So there are 12 witnesses and one among them is also the Paramatma, which is the super soul living in uh, everybody's heart, as Lord Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, right? Ishwara Sarva Bhutanam Riddeshe Arjuna Tishthati. So Makar Sankranti is the time when it's like saying our soul is now waking up. Why? Because we get a chance to practice divinity more and more. The sun is not just light. The sun is light in a physical sense, but it is also light in a metaphysical sense. The sun is the significator of light, spiritual light, spiritual wisdom. And from this, the word Bharata comes, right? Like, uh, for example, India. India, the word India actually has nothing much to do with India. <laughs> Unfortunately, or either ways. <laughs> so, India was originally known as Bharat. Bharat Bhumi, Bharat Varsh. Uh, Bharat Varsha is a, has a bit different meaning, of course. <clears throat> but Bharat in general is the name that is used to refer to India. Now, what, what does this word mean? The word Bharata means Bharata can be divided in two parts, you know, and there are many meanings to the word Bharata. <clears throat> um, and there has been three prominent kings whose names whose name have been Bharat, and it is said. After them, uh, this country is named as, right? So, one of them we know is uh, none other than the brother of Lord Sri Ramachandra, right? So, Bharat Maharaj. So, he is also one after whom this uh, country is named as, right? But what's the meaning of the word Bharat? So, from his context, the word Bharata means one who is carrying the bhar. Bhar is weight. Right? Weight of whom? Of what? Weight of the kingdom. Because Lord Ram was sent to exile for 14 years and <clears throat> he took the responsibilities of the kingdom on top of his head. Right? Managing all the affairs but living like a hermit, living like a sannyasi. So that's the weight, the bhar which he was carrying on top. That is, that's the land of India, right? Where you carry the burden of responsibility with love, right? And then we also have the great uh, Bharat Maharaj, who is none other than the son of Rishabh Dev and Meru Devi, right? After whom actually Bharat Varsha is named. He was such a great emperor. After him, the entire country was named actually, right? <clears throat> And the word Bharata also means, you know, if you divide the word, it's Bha and Rata. So the word Bha means Bhaskara. Bhaskara refers to the sun actually. And Rata is referring to the word Rati, which is attachment or you can say, you know, love or fascination or something like that. Now, what does this mean? Bhaskara and Rati. What, what does this mean? Now, Bhaskara refers to the sun, which shows, you know, spiritual wisdom, spiritual light. Illumination, salvation. These are the connotations. 
and rati refers to something that you like very much so it's like a land where spiritual wisdom has been cherished time and for time and eternity time and again it has been cherished that is why india is the only land may not be the only but it's certainly one of the most important places where people from almost every religion and every community has flourished you won't find this anywhere else in the world even if you find it will be very few right <clears throat> and there are people who have been persecuted in other parts of the world but they have found shelter in this great land and they have prospered not only materially but spiritually economically either ways right but primarily from a spiritual perspective irrespective of their religion uh, people have been accepted based on their uh, own individual faiths right <clears throat> so therefore uh, makar sankranti is like a time where we understand that life is much beyond the material realm or we should do things in a way which convinces our mind and intelligence that life is much beyond this right life is much beyond just um, the things of the day the things that we do daily life is much beyond the things that we see daily life is much beyond the things that we think is the end of it all right <clears throat> so therefore uh, during makar sankranti it's essential that we uh, try to do more and more spiritual practices and not just on one day it's not just that one day when you know you do something magical and maybe nothing much happens the next day right <clears throat> but makar sankranti is a good time for us to make a commitment to take uh, to take vows for doing something regularly okay <clears throat> so makar sankranti is the day when we can make a sincere prayer to god that oh my dear god i am uh, looking to elevate myself spiritually to come close to you please send me a guru please do that because i cannot find a guru myself only when god sends me the guru i can understand and as lord krishna says in gita tat vidhi pranipate na pari prashne na sevaya upadekshanti te gyanam gyanina tattva darshinah right that one has to uh, one must learn the truth spiritual truth from a bona fide spiritual master right after rendering a service and then he should enquire submissively right so therefore if you already have a guru then you are very fortunate you are <clears throat> more fortunate than all the billionaires and trillionaires and multi millionaires of this world combined i know there's no trillionaire but maybe soon there is <laughs> but you are more fortunate than all of them combined a guru from a bona fide sampradaya there is nothing like that in the material world it is like beyond comprehension right it's un you are unbelievably fortunate if you belong to that category so count on your blessings every day if you are in that category and try to be a humble servant of the guru and try to serve your guru try to take some burden like bharat maharaj right take his bhar guru ka bhar lene ka prayatna kariye shoulder uh, his burden and take some responsibilities for your guru's mission and life right and if we somehow do not belong to that uh, fortunate category and we do not have a guru we are still searching and finding then <clears throat> tomorrow is the day right maybe when you are seeing this it will be today so today is that day when you can make a sincere prayer to the parmatma the four handed vishnu form inside your heart that oh god please send me a guru i can't do it by myself i cannot do it by myself it's not happening it will not happen it can't happen maybe or may not be that it should but i can't do it please send me a guru please send me 
सिंसियर कंपनी ऑफ स्पिरिचुअली माइंडेड पीपल प्लीज सेंड मी अ कम्युनिटी ऑफ गॉड ब्रदर्स एंड गॉड सिस्टर्स प्लीज सेंड मी अ सिंसियर कम्युनिटी ऑफ स्पिरिचुअली लाइक माइंडेड इंडिविजुअल्स विद होम आई कैन शेयर माई स्पिरिचुअल एक्सपीरियंसेस एंड ऑल्सो लर्न फ्रॉम देम प्लीज सेंड मी सीनियर्स इन द स्पिरिचुअल कम्युनिटी हु विल ऑलवेज गाइड मी प्लीज सेंड मी इक्वल्स इन द स्पिरिचुअल कम्युनिटी विद होम आई कैन शेयर एंड अंडरस्टैंड एंड प्लीज सेंड मी जूनियर्स इन द स्पिरिचुअल कम्युनिटी फ्रॉम होम ऑल्सो आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड बट टू होम आई कैन ऑल्सो इन लाइट इन राइट सो if we make these prayers tomorrow then maybe it's answered very soon or maybe not <laughs> but at least it's a sincere attempt from our side and just like the shrimad bhagavatam says the story of uh, dhruva maharaj who was a 5 year old boy and then when he was looking out for god lord vishnu sent narad muni to guide him maybe some day sooner or later depending on our sincerity and god's desire he will send a bona fide guru because only then everything else will make sense in your life until then everything and everybody is nothing but failure in life yes it doesn't matter you are a millionaire or a billionaire or a zillionaire at the end of your life you will be stripped of everything nothing shall remain with you it doesn't matter who you are married to it doesn't matter how many children you have it doesn't matter who your parents are all these things matter in their own place but at the end of your life there's nobody who will be there with you not your parents not your spouse not your children nobody that is a path which you have to travel alone that is the moment of death and at that time there's only one person who will be there with you that is the parmatma who is still there within your heart so when you give time to everybody you know parents uh, family members relatives friends your boss your colleagues you know your whatever your gym buddies you know your uh, acquaintances or your followers right social media followers your husband wife anybody when you make time for all of them do not forget to make time for this one person who is the only one who will be there at the end of your life with you who will go with you to the next place right nobody is going to accompany you there not me nobody nobody is going to accompany me also <laughs> right so it's for us to take sincere shelter of god because he is the only one the only person that we have who will be there in the next journey it can be very daunting sometimes but yet very empowering if we learn this lesson all right thank you very much and i wish you all a great festival and have a great time with your family and with your relatives and with your friends and do some spiritual practices take up some commitments and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so if you are new to the channel then i hope you have already subscribed if not then please subscribe to the channel and if you want a consultation from me regarding your horoscope then please go to my description go to my website which you will find in the description section thank you